I'm going to show you how to check the speed of a backup in Backup Exec 21, and it also works in older versions as well. So I'm going to choose a backup that's currently running. And my question is, is how fast is this going? Is it going the speed that makes sense, or is there a problem? I double click on the server and I can see my job that's running. Now in this case it doesn't matter that it's a duplicate job, it could be a standard backup or any other type of backup. I see my byte count is increasing, it's at 1.99 gigabytes and climbing, and I see my speed. Under speed you want to be in the thousands of megabytes. I typically see the speed max out at around 3500 megabytes, but that's just on the devices that I've seen that are running at, at 10 gigabit connections such as a 10 gigabit iSCSI. If you're running internal storage, then it typically maxes out in my experience at around 2000 megabytes per second. If you see things running in the hundreds of megabytes instead of in the thousands, then you probably have something wrong. Maybe your connection to your iSCSI or NAS device is running at 100 megabits instead of at 1,000 or a gigabit. And you need to check the network card settings that your network card is actually running at a gigabit. And you can do that by going into Network and Sharing Center, either through Control Panel or by going into System Settings and scrolling down to Network and Sharing Center. And then I like to go to Change Adapter Settings. And I like to right click and go to Status. So again, this will only apply if you are connected to iSCSI or NAS devices. Internal storage does not use any Ethernet connectivity. So we see that I'm running at a speed of 10 gigabits per second. So my speed is doing pretty well. I can also see my sent and received items working. And if I click on details, I've got detailed information about how my connection is set up. So that's how you check speed in Backup Exec 21 as well as older versions. And that's what you should be looking for as far as speed. Now, if you are running multiple jobs at once, then you will see that speed go down. So you want to have it once again in the thousands of megabytes. However, if you have two jobs, you're gonna be splitting that in half. If you have four jobs, you're gonna be splitting that again. So you should be adding that all up together and it should be in the thousands of megabytes. If you are running a single job, then you should see all that speed right here in the job itself.